What is going on guys? So today I wanted to talk about the video I posted yesterday. If you guys saw it, then you guys kind of know why I kind of want to talk about this. If, if you guys didn't, then you probably won't be able to see it. But so what I really want to talk about is I kind of had some time to, to talk to pink and to talk to a few other people. Um, so I don't want to toot my horn or anything like that, or, or want to, you know, put myself in the spotlight or anything. But in the past few years, you know, we all know performance has been terrible. You know, it's just the fact uh, during prime time, it's not great. Uh, you, you don't go to gray host. At least I don't, uh, you really can't PVP in there. And the issue is, is sometimes that gets very frustrating. The lack of communication, uh, for the past several years for the PVP community has been about nil. And ever since we did, you know, the messages in a max video, I've been trying to get some information for you guys, you know, some hardcore details and, and really try to, you know, allow the transparency to come back. Um, because there's really not been any communication since, you know, the cypher days of PVP, uh, with, with the people at Zoss and, and the community, um, there's a, probably a lot of uh, of reasons why, but it's kind of compounded to like the past few months to like actually have some communication finally. And, you know, sometimes I let my, my emotions get the best of me uh, whenever I'm talking about, you know, performances because, you know, I've played this game for a long time and, you know, a lot of you guys have played this game since launch. And... It sometimes it gets frustrating when you see the potential of this game and kind of the the part of the game that we play mostly uh, has been really uh, it feels abandoned from from the game developers. Now, to their credit, and, and as you most of you guys will agree with me, is actually the past few years we've gotten more to the extent of them actually trying to do something than has been done in a long time. So if if you guys recall and think back. The no proc test was very massive. Um, Pink reminded me of this, and I really appreciate her for, for doing this. But the no proc test was very big because it actually showed finally that they are doing something. Uh, whether that actually did anything for performance or not, at least they tried. And, you know, sometimes that can kind of go under the radar of it didn't fix anything and, and performance has gotten worse to the result. Um, but I think there's a lot more details than they're leading on about. Um, after watching some of Sawman's videos, or, or Sawman's video about the the Crown Sword stuff, it kind of got me thinking, and, and Pink is to the credit of this as well, um, about the artists and stuff like that. If you guys seen that clip, you guys know what I'm talking about. But basically what happened, at least what Pink and I think, there's probably a shortage of staff for server engineers uh, at the company, and they probably had to either lay off server engineers or lay off people that do that type of stuff because they probably make a ton of money and when when you know the, the pandemic hit a lot of communities had to a lot of companies had to go into you know power saving mode for lack of a better term uh to really you know save on the money and you know Zenimax all went to work from home and this is just speculation but the sad thing is, is the performance of PVP doesn't sell like to the extent that it sells easier stuff like crown store items, like, you know, costumes, pets, mounts, and all that performance in the game doesn't sell. Uh, it only keeps long time players in the game and the people that enjoy the PVE aspect don't really see what we're really talking about. And there's sometimes a divide in the community, but kind of getting back to my point, I think there's a shortage of overall people that work on the game performance aspect of the game and there's probably maybe less than 10 people that work on this and they're probably overworked um and probably it, it's it's too big of a task to fix i would say i i think zenimax in their planning of this game i think it was it was very ambitious for what they did because like if you think about other games like wow or or Final Fantasy, there's not a single other MMO out there that does not have like cooldowns on abilities. Think for a second how revolutionary that was. You know, 
that, that's very big because having the ability to use a resource pool rather than cooldowns on all abilities it, it's pretty massive and to have all these actions going on once uh, across Cyrodiil in a large environment now that environment has kind of gotten smaller over time uh, don't know the reasons why I'm not going to speculate but the idea of Zenimax to do this plus bringing it to console um, is is massive in itself uh, console probably holds back. I hear this question all the time. Console holds back PC, and that's probably true to an extent. You know, it has to run on all types of uh, platforms, consoles, you know, Xbox and and PlayStation, and it needs to run on the lowest settings on PC, uh, and even to the highest settings. Uh, we could speculate on why the reasons of performance is bad, but you know, definitely they, these definitely play a role. We have to remember they have added stuff to PvP. Like, for example, BGs uh, back in Morrowind, uh, they added dueling and one Tamriel. Uh, and ever since then, you know, it, it, the content has dried up. But you, we also have to think, you know, they started to do their big year long chapters. And that's definitely going to take a lot of resources away because remember, we had like Shadows of the Hist. And that was just like, like two dungeons. And that was it. And that was a content update for, I think, half of a year to an extent. So uh, they've definitely ramped up the content, you know, with, with all these big chapters like Somerset, you know, Morrowind was the first big one. Okay, so as that continues, the PvP performance or, and the lack of content definitely took notice. And then in 2019, you know, when COVID, you know, hit and all that. And it is very frustrating uh, as both people who, who are making the game and, as, and us as consumers um, because, you know, nobody really planned for this. And it's frustrating because at least for me in my personal lifestyle it's not changed really much um since covid i've still been doing the same thing as i've always been doing but for other people in other areas it's probably different and especially you know where's the max is probably in more of a city type of area whereas i live in in tennessee and not in the you know in the city so it's it's a little bit different you know there's different lifestyles and all of that and people as in max are probably extremely affected by this and what probably ended up happening was back when they had bgs uh, and imperial city when they released that they probably had a full team and ever since you know covid i, I would assume or, or like to think that it definitely took an impact because designing something from home is definitely very difficult rather than being next to your peers uh working on something so it definitely that probably added a, a thrown a loop into all of their plans uh, and then the chip shortages and all of that. Uh, there's no guarantee on that the servers that they're going to be bringing in in the future are even going to make performance improvements. But they had plans on doing cold storage back in 2019, at least uh, the, the starting aspects for Q2. So it's been going on for a while, and cold storage still is not finished or not even really started much other than, I think, like two platforms. So there's a lot of, of things that we like to forget, or at least... Not even like to forget, but uh, assume never happened because we're so focused on performance, performance, performance. So with that being said, what I said yesterday in the video probably wasn't the best of, of things to say. And now that I've thought about it, I can kind of recalibrate and you know tell you guys how I actually feel. I still stand by what I said. You know, I probably could have presented the information a little bit better. But I still believe in exactly all the things I said in the video. So in closing, at the end of the day, Zenimax is a company. They have to make money in order to keep the lights on so they can work on the game. And if they don't make money, then they don't have a job. And if they don't have a job, then we don't have a game. And that's just the cold, hard truth um, that we have to accept. Um... At least we have, at least we have Cyrodiil. At least it's not being converted to PVE. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys a different perspective on something that we sometimes forget uh, as a community. And Pink, I just really want to thank her for helping me, you know, you know, I guess calm down a little bit about, you know, the whole ranting yesterday and really understand, you know, things from all perspectives because it's, you know, I'm, I'm still with you guys about being frustrated about performance, but sometimes um, things are bigger than just, you know, our leisure activities of just playing a game and just wanting to have fun. But that's it. I hope you guys uh, have a good rest of your day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.